this video uh, now continues our discussion of the uh, XML uh, arguments property. So um, uh, as, as we discussed uh, in the previous video, uh, we've uh, now created a new uh, SQL arguments object inside our event handler and then we've taken the e.args xml property which was passed in as part of the e object and reconstituted um, a live SQL arguments object by setting the xml property to this value over there so now let's go ahead to uh, working preview and I'll go here and type in John Smith Alpha and then go ahead now and save it so we'll execute that step and then that step over there and so now if we go and look at args here uh, uh, we'll basically see that there are uh, five arguments and uh, so args one dot data is J uh, John Smith args one dot um, name is new contact name etc and so now I can go to any one of these uh, arguments and say args one dot name um, and then go and set it give it give it a new value so I could simply go here and and give args uh, sorry args one dot data change the value uh, in my script and then I've changed the value in the in the arguments and then I can uh, convert that back to XML uh, as I'll show now uh, in this uh, event handler. So I could go now for example here and say args one dot data equals uh, Fred Jones and then uh, dim XML as C XML equals args dot XML and now I've gone back from a live um, SQL arguments object back to the XML representation and um, I would need that if I want to do uh, uh, update the um, args dot uh, this uh, args dot XML modified property so that I can report back uh, in the debug uh, when with debug turned on uh, what arguments were actually used when the event uh, uh, was executed. Thank you very much.